psychology english class 5 four philosophies of education four philosophies of education <clears throat> what is education education is actually teaching and learning it is both the processes so for teaching and learning there are mainly four philosophies we should know what are these philosophies number one is behaviorism behaviorism means classroom learning as will be a teacher there will be students so the teacher will take class student will listen to it they will write they will do homework they will come back the teacher will check it so it is in short classroom teaching learning that is known as behaviorism and please note that behaviorism has nothing to do with uh, behavior it is just like love and lovely it is just like love and lovely a lovely has nothing to do with love and love has nothing to do with lovely right the second method or the second philosophy of education is personal constructivism personal constructivism means self learning it is very simple many things we have learned ourselves and we have to learn ourselves personally yes even in behaviorism you can see partly it is personal constructivism for example learning the multiplication table now the student has to do that teacher has nothing to do with learning multiplication table the student has to memorize it yes in the same way many thing we have to learn ourselves that is you know knowledge is normally said as three one is innate uh, knowledge that is what we call in you know, a natural instinct that abilities we get when we are born nobody taught us that for example smiling okay uh, sucking the uh, breast of the mother all these things it is they, they are all innate abilities which is known as natural instinct right so many things we learn ourselves for example just by listening to a, a song for many times we will learn it ourselves yeah that is self learning it is known as personal constructivism in educational terminology now comes the fourth one social constructivism social constructivism social constructivism means learning by using the resources provided by the society for example books internet whatsapp facebook and so on we all know internet is a, an international university even now when i am giving you this class this is partly classroom teaching it is partly social constructivism so nowadays we can learn anything from the uh, from the internet and that's why even we call this world a global village yeah so we have to utilize the social constructivism method for our learning the fourth philosophy is mentoring mentoring is one experienced learned person will guide and direct a learner 
that is known as mentoring in classroom teaching there are many people a group of students will be there in mentoring there is one to one uh, teaching and learning at the same time he goes an extra mile in teaching his mendi it is known as mendi and this is one of the best methods for learning yeah we call such people mentors we all need mentors now what we call guru and shishya in arabic sheikh and murid although it is not that level still partly it has the characteristics of this that is mentoring now if you want to learn anything or any subject you will have to use the appropriate philosophies not a single philosophy not a single philosophy an amalgamation of related educational philosophies are needed for learning any subject for example let us take surgery surgery we need classroom behaviorism classroom teaching learning okay then self learning is there he has to read uh, uh, surgery books principles of surgery and all that social constructivism also will be there you will have to ask somebody else suppose he could not understand a topic from the class he will have to ask his friends and classmates or he can ask some other uh, doctors actually what is it so that's it so educational philosophy has to be selected according to the subjects we are going to teach and learn and we should know what are the philosophies uh, applicable in learning a particular subject so think about it whenever you are learning any subject you have to think about all these four educational philosophies and choose the appropriate one in appropriate proportion and percentage now our psychology english class 5 is coming to an end the class came to you from educate smile wafa 00919847 08 one more number is there 00917559880200 thank you very much for listening to me